Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, and I think you will, make sure you come back tomorrow. We're going out to eat today. We kind of slept in, but I'm putting in the miles, putting in six miles today. It's one of those Florida tricky mornings where first two miles, I felt pretty good. Once I hit two miles, my body must have acclimated to the hot temperature because I can't breathe. It's hot. It's steamy and sticky, but getting out, getting the miles done. All right, I am back. I'm all cleaned up. That was a, a rough run. Quite toasty out. Um, but it's 11.40. I'm gonna see if one blood will take me. I don't have an appointment, but I'm just gonna run over and see if they'll, if they can squeeze me in. I do bleed pretty quickly, and then that'll be the other half of it. Like, so one blood right now is doing antibody testing if you donate. So then yesterday I got my COVID test, um, and then if I donate blood today, if they can squeeze me in, then I'll get an antibody test then too, and that'll be good. Feel that it'll be like socially responsible with me going out to marches and us going out to the theme parks and stuff. But I gotta get some water before I get over there. There's Sarah, she's also in this vlog. Hi, I'm editing the vlog. And then once this is done, we have a whole fun day ahead. Yeah, yeah. Fake, Not Father's Day. Fake Father's Day. <laughs> This is this is forever known as Fake Father's Day. If you didn't see yesterday's vlog, I'm go, editing it now. Go to the all the way to the end of yesterday's vlog. Yeah, we thought today was Father's Day. <laughs> oh my goodness! They didn't take Peter as a walk-in. So they're being smart and they're not allowing walk-ins. Yeah. Also, Peter's watching Avatar: Last Airbender. It's been a while since I've watched. <laughs> You okay? You tired? Guess who has an appointment tomorrow to get her hair cut? <laughs> Do you need some water, honey? Sure, I'll get you some. So we are headed into Eatonville. We've never been here. It's a historic town. Which is crazy because we live so close. Seven minutes away. And so this is a all plant-based Jamaican restaurant that we're going to and it is also black owned. And the biggest thing we've been seeing, not just online, but like in the protests I've been going to, is oh, turn left. register and vote. But almost more importantly is is talk with your currency at black-owned restaurants and black-owned businesses. businesses. So on Saturdays they have a food truck. And yesterday was all burgers. Yummy. They have vegan. They cater. Yeah, it's a creamery. There's, we'll show them when we leave, but there's a cool water towel over there. Yeah. Walking in, chicken and biscuit original. No I think those are Sarah's three chicken biscuits. Three biscuits. This is just time. Oh, they're so cutely wrapped. But I literally last night I was like, I'm going to KFC. Like I'm getting fried chicken. And two of those are fried and one's not right. fried. And then this is just like Sarah. <laughs> and then Sarah was like, I don't know which one to get. And I was like, just get one of each. So Sarah got a spicy one. Spicy. And the original. And that one's the jerk. Jerk. I think that's the spicy. Yeah, it has sauce on And that should be the original? Oh, I think this is the spicy. Oh, okay, so that's the spicy. Oh my goodness. That's oh the original. Goodness. That's the jerk? Yeah. And let me get mine out. I'm pumped. Biscuits. And then we're getting ice cream after this. Yes. Are you okay. ready for this? So Peter got a platter that's basically just like... Everything, but it's only everything. available on Sundays. Yeah. Oh. My goodness. There's curry chicken. There's... Um, that's a piece of pineapple. Tail. Oak's tail. So it's like oxtail, but oh my goodness. This looks like the greatest thing in my entire life. Oh my. That's my real tail, like, also, they make all their meats in house, so like all the textures are right where they're supposed to be and all the nutrition's there. I'm okay, so we gotta excited. Eat. We gotta eat. <laughs> I think this is just the plain wow. fried chicken. <laughs> He emphasizes he's a new chef in there that since it's all in house, the textures are really good and they're not. Oh, okay, I need a bite. <laughs> that 
was beyond delicious. We decided that Peter's meal could have filled us both easily. We're taking like but I half. Ate both. I ate all of them. Yeah. Well, I, I had a lot of it too. Um, but like, think about it. Like, I had like those biscuits were hefty. We're bringing like half of one home because we had to get ice cream. We had to get ice cream. We got ice cream. The rum raisin. Rum raisin. Then chocolate on the bottom. So good. I'm excited. I want this with two of the cookies from Valhalla Bakery. Uh huh. Like a ice cream sandwich. Mmm. We're gonna show you this cute little um, water tower. I don't know. Like I feel like water towers are Midwestern. Are they? No, every town needs a water tower. <laughs> but I just feel like we don't see them as often. So just a quick Google search and we learned that Eatonville was the first incorporated all black city in the United States of America. I thought that's what the case was because I think they brought it up yesterday or Friday. Yeah, you've been learning a lot about that. different uh -huh. communities. But it was a huge deal after, um, after slavery that it was built by freedmen. So we actually are turning around because Eatonville is fairly small. Um, it's right next to Maitland, which I feel like is a little bit more well known of a suburb in Orlando. Are they called suburbs? I think so. so like a neighborhood. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna drive around and look. Oh, there's a bell. There's just like cool, um, like other historical signs, and we're just gonna drive through. Also, our friend Sean did a ton of Black History Month videos this year that feels so long ago. Um, but he actually came to Eatonville for a festival. Got a link. And so we'll link that below. And then also like the playlist of his other Black History Month um, videos if you are interested in that. Sean comes into our videos a lot typically during the HHM months. Yeah. If you don't recall the wonderful Deshaun name. He's just a best. gem. Yeah. We're switching things up and we're gonna go, Sarah has been like, Sarah wants to make it to goal since we hadn't been going to the parks and stuff. Until the parks are open and we know what that looks like, she wants to get like 30 minutes of a walk in at least a day for herself. Yeah, um, I tried to do it with our puppy yesterday, but you guys know how she gets so tired. And, and so then I end up having to carry her back. And it's like, I wanna do enough, but I don't wanna do too much. So we're gonna drive to Lake Eola, walk to City Hall, since Sarah's never actually been to any of the protests or speeches, and since they're not marching, I don't think today, at least at four they're not, they're gonna do some speeches that we can hang out in the backside, and it's, it's gonna be similar to, we can, we can choose our distance. Yeah. And they'll have bottles, bottles, like that organization has grown since this all started. It's so like, I don't think I've shown the vlogs. Freedom Fighters. But they've had like, they had chicken and rice out there yesterday. They have like boxes and boxes of like granola bars and coolers and coolers and coolers of water and Gatorade that's all free mm -hmm. for everybody there. So I figure we can go there like walk there from Lake Yola because it's, like it's like a mile. Yeah. Um, listen to some speeches and then walk back and it's doing a little bit of protesting today. Um, but I'll get to enjoy it. I get to go and experience rather it Rather than just seeing on the vlog because yeah. as you guys know, like I film it in a way so that we're protecting identities and stuff. So Sarah hasn't seen all aspects of it that I have. Right. And you do film more than I put in the vlog, so I do have a, you give me a good idea of what's going on, but being so there yourself is different. It's different to be there in person. So I For suggest sure. if you live anywhere where there are any demonstrations to go give it a chance. Yeah. Some, you, hopefully you'll learn something and your eyes will be opened up to a different perspective. Yeah. Oh, it is sticky out. It started pouring. Yeah, we have, we're under cover right now. We're right across from City Hall. And there's people out, but they're all hiding from the rain. It doesn't look like it's gonna last very long, but let me, I'm gonna spin the camera and show you. So there's City Hall where we've been hanging out. And right there, there's that like art piece and everyone is underneath it hiding from the rain. So it looks like there's probably only like 15, 20 people, but. You once, never know it's... Once it stops raining, maybe there's a crowd at the police department like coming on over. Yeah. All right, we migrated because it started easing up. But luckily we walked over here right in the perfect time. So Orlando Freedom Fighters started setting up their tent. I think they have food and a table when it wasn't raining, like as it was starting again. But we're hiding out here now. All right, the rain just stopped. The man that was Had a good conversation with two gentlemen just now. And I think uh, they just got started up. They just got started with some speaker and a tent and snacks and water and everything. 
They killed us, scared us, intimidated us, put fear in us, and oppressed us each and every day. And so they got their way. Because if you put a non-racist in office, the policies are still racist. They're still oppressive. You cannot fix an oppressive state from the inside. Yes, it's a system problem, but it's not just a system problem. It's a problem for home. What did you teach your kids that grew up to be these police officers that are doing these things? I don't know about nobody else, but what I teach to everybody, not just my babies, but I try to live love, live respect. That's what matters. If we embed that into our children, if we embed that into the ones around us, when they grow up to become law enforcement officers, the senator, the president, we don't have to worry about having idiots run in our country. Start there. It starts with our youth. Absolutely. It starts with our babies. I encourage you guys, I employ you guys, even if you don't have kids, start with your nieces and your nephews. Why? Why watch the textbooks? What did you really learn in school? To us it's simple, it's demonstrating. And then I say, I see justice, I see peace. I feel love in these streets. <laughs> We're walking back to the car, which yep. is a bit of a hike. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it'll be good, because we did more standing and sitting over there. And... So now that you've experienced, it's much, it was much uh, a smaller scale today. Yeah. There's only about 15 people out there today, but now that you experience one in, in person, what do you think? I really enjoyed it. And I mean, every day is different, and I think like I felt safe the whole time, especially because we were able to be socially distanced. Um, but just the most caring, loving group of people that you could even Wait, do imagine. I, do you understand more like what I mean by like how like how like touching all the stories are you here? Yeah. Because like every story is unique and different. Right. and important and needs to be screened from the mountaintops. Yeah, no, incredible and I mean, there's plenty of people beeping and supporting but having more bodies there and people actually coming out means so much. So again, even if you know of the smallest little get together that you've heard of, just In go out because locally. being, um, yeah, being physically there is saying so much. So it was really good really good and now it's beautiful and the temperature dropped and <laughs> so nice out so well, we gotta go home really good really good look at these cute ducks or geese so cute they just walked across the path they're like under the tail like a little umbrella okay we are home we're conflicted because we just want to sit on the couch and watch the hate you give um but it's eight o'clock and we're hungry and we need to make our fake Father's Day meal. So I had originally planned on making Peter breakfast this morning and then us going to Dijin Eats for dinner. But after I learned that it was not Father's Day and our day got rearranged, we flip-flopped them. So we're going to make breakfast for dinner now. Oh, look at that, look at that. What are those? What are those? Breakfast potatoes. What is this? Buffy pancake. Oh my word. Look at this display. This is a great looking feast. Yeah. Like to put on a movie? The weekend's not over yet. No way. This was just a whole package of strawberries, three peaches, and some brown sugar just heated up. That was cooking the longest. The pancakes, I'll put the link in the description. And then this is just a potato and a half, a green pepper, an onion. We're out of ketchup, I'm really mad about it. Put some Tabasco sauce on it. Cooked it with garlic, salt, pepper, paprika, and what was the last one? Cayenne pepper. And so I have barbecue sauce. It is super late. I'm gonna do the message. Can't go to bed just yet. My nighttime process I run on the weekends is being really slow. But today is Sunday the 14th. Ooh, today's message is by Anonymous, and it states, Be sure to taste your words before you spit them out. Well, so I was asleep on the couch. Eve was asleep underneath the table. I wish I was asleep. Hopefully I'll be asleep soon, but I have to wait till this thing is done before I get up and finish it for work. But um, thank you for along with our adventures this weekend. 
Um, one week closer to Disney being open. Excited to see how the resorts look when they open, but we'll see. They, I mean, everything's changing every day, so we'll see it when we see it, but um, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.